Can All right, so me? now let's now go to polynomials and see what's going on with polynomials. So la let's write two um, polynomials. So let's write two polynomials. Um, let's write divide x raised to power three plus five x raised to power two plus six x plus 11 by x plus three, something like this, okay? So this is a first polynomial. This is a second polynomial. So we are dividing one by the other. We are dividing the first one by the second one. So we will replicate the same thing that we did in regular number. So we will set it up the same way. We just draw and write our um, x raised to power 3 plus 5x raised to power 2 plus 6x plus 11. And then we write our factor, the one where the divisor is actually the right word, the divisor. Um, uh, x plus 3. Okay. So now, once you have that, you are going to um, look at the, this first one. You are going to use the first term. The first term is this. So divide this by the first term. That's what you do. Divide this. So divide this one, x raised to the power 3, by the first term. So once you do that, so you are going to have something like x times x times x divided by x. So when you cross out, you are going to have x raised to the power 2. So you write here, x raised to the power 2. And then you use your x raised to the power 2, which is now a new factor you obtain. You use it, you use it to multiply throughout by this and this. So you use x raised to the power 2 multiplied by x will give you x raised to power three. Then x um, raised to power Mr. two. Mr. Kavia? Yes? Um, for the x raised to power two above the um, equation, aren't you supposed to put it under above the um, five x raised to power two? Um, it's good where it is. It is good where it is. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's good where it is. You can put it there. I mean, everything you put there, at the end, of, we are going to generate other numbers. I mean, I mean, I can put it there. It doesn't really matter. But let me put it there anyway. But like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't make m m much difference. But let me put it there. Um, probably to give more clarity, maybe. Okay. X raised to power two. Okay. You forgot the other one for eleven. You put plus one. Yes, it should be eleven. Thank you. All right, so now let's continue. So x raised to power um, x raised to power two times x it will give us x raised to power three. Then we multiply this uh, x raised to power uh, two by three will give us plus three x raised to power two. Okay, so now um, you divide. You not really divide. You subtract. You subtract. You subtract. So you write down your line, and then this subtraction will change the sign of everything inside. It will change the sign of everything inside. So in that case, you are going to have um, uh, x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 3 will give you 0. So you just write 0. You don't have to write it. Then this negative times positive here will give you negative. So 5 x raised to power 2 minus 3 x raised to power 2 will give you 2 x raised to power 2. Okay? So then what else? What else do you do? You bring back, you bring down these other ones. You bring it down. So you have plus what? 6 x plus 11. Okay, so now you repeat the process. 
you repeat the process, which is you divide 2x raised to power 2 divided by x. So you can come outside here and do 2 multiplied by x, multiplied by x, divide by x. This is how you can figure it out beside, you know. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Cable. Yes. Um, a other thing you could do is like, um, it's basically you're subtracting the exponent when you divide it. Like when you said x divided by x cubed, you subtracted the exponent by one because, and with the two x divided by two, the two x squared divided by x is going to become two x. 2x and that's it and then that's just going to be ended 6x divided by x would just be 6. it's like that's correct that's correct yeah um, you're, you're, subtract, you're subtracting the exponent every time you divide it back up to get the answer at the top More that's answer. correct uh thank you nerisha that's correct so what she's saying is we can use uh, the properties of um, exponent that's what she's saying so when you are dividing x raised to power 2 divide by x raised to power 1, so what you are actually doing is you pick up x and then you say 2 minus 1. That's what she said. That's what she, she means. It's, you know, for those who didn't understand that, so I, I just wanted to make a clarity. So that's correct. So the way I did it here is also another visual way of doing it. So both of them are correct. So use the method that um, yeah, you so desire. Okay. Mr. Okegu. Yes. Where did you get 3x to the, to, to the um, third, to the second power or 3x squared from in the equation? It, yes, I got it by multiplying using this factor right now, using this factor, I don't really want to circle it, using this factor and then multiplying it with um, uh, this one. So the first, you multiply the first time. So that's x raised to power 3. And then you multiply it by 3. That's 3x three raised to power 2. That's how that 3 came about. You have to multiply by each number that is given on the, is it the divisor side? You got to multiply each, each one, the, the answer by each the, um, number, like the x. And then you have to multiply x squared by the 3. If it's more numbers, you have to do the same thing. Yes. Like that. that that's correct. That's, that's correct. So once you, once you perform the first division, whatever you obtain, use it to multiply out throughout whatever you have on the, div on the divisor. That's, that's the technique. And this is where some people uh, uh, miss the, um, uh, you know, make mistake while they are trying to do long division. So now let's finish up this one and then we'll take it from there. So now we obtain the first, so now let's repeat the process. So we just divided x squared divided by x is going to give us x. Okay, so we write, um, no, it's going to give us 2x. So we are going to write plus 2x. Then on this plus 2x, we will use it to do what? To multiply out, to multiply out everything here. So 2x multiplied by x is going to give us 2x squared, 2x squared. Then we repeat the process. 2x multiplied by 3 is going to give us plus uh, 6x. And then this is what we obtain. And then we do another subtraction. We do another subtraction. So now this subtraction will change the sign of every term in this bracket. So we are going to draw our line. And then we say um, 2x squared minus 2x squared will give us 0. And 2, 6x minus um, 6x minus what? Minus 6x will also give us 0. And then we are left with 11. So we bring down our 11. Okay. So the whole thing comes down to what? It comes down to 2x squared plus 2x remainder what 11. 11 so our factor is our answer if you want to would be x squared plus 2x remainder 11.
So this is the this is the uh, technique on how to do it. So now let's do another example. Let's do another example that is a little bit different from what we have just done so far. And then because um, it's going to help you out in in case you encounter uh, this type of numbers. Okay. So let's do another example. Let's see, okay, Yes. I remember this from algebra two. Didn't we call it the constant when there's the remainder? Yeah, this is called constant, yes. Any number that doesn't have a variable attached to it is called a constant. And uh, you can, if you either call it a constant or you call it when the, when the uh, exponent of x is zero, rather. When the exponent of x is zero. For example, um, this number, this number above, the number above, let me, let, let me write it differently. The number we had initially can be written as x cubed plus 5x squared plus 6x raised to power 1 plus 11x raised to power 0. So now if you look at this, the, uh, the exponents of the variable are decreasing. They are decreasing by 1. So the highest expon uh, exponent here is 3. So it decreases by 1 to 2 to 1 to 0. Any number raised to power 0 is 1. So this 11, you either call it a constant or you said it is the coefficient when the exponent of the variable is 0. 